We've now had a total of 36 nights below zero this winter season. And from the looks of the weather outside right now, things aren't letting up. Fox 28 News reporter Mugo Odigwe found out how some are escaping it all and how that's benefiting a local industry, Mugo. Sadie, many living here in the Midwest and East Coast are desperate to leave to warm weather destinations. It's a need that's good for business if you're a travel agent. Cold, windy, and snowy. That's the picture outside. A week ago, I was hit by a snowplow and totaled my car, so that'd be one thing that I don't like. This winter has been so relentless that the word polar vortex has almost become part of our everyday vocabulary. We need to move someplace warmer, I think. <laughs> Sometimes moving is not an option, but an escape is. We went to Jamaica at the end of January, and... Uh, then we went to Mexico uh, in December. Now, Pam Kissinger is already planning a trip to the Dominican Republic. Her trips come together with help from travel agent Susan yeah. Stepanek, uh -huh. <laughs> owner of Ultimate Escapes Travel. With Ultimate Escapes Travel, we see people traveling from about November until March. That's our Caribbean, our warm weather destinations. Stepanek says most people tend to plan those trips with her six months before winter. This season, though, she's seen a 10 percent increase in people looking to travel at the last minute. Uh, there's a lot of people that kind of think that they're going to save the money and they start feeling depressed. They don't have enough vitamin C. <laughs> And so they want a sunshine fix. It's a feeling Pam knows well. I think everybody I work with, we just can't wait for the sun to shine and to have some nice weather. The travel site Jetsetter.com found that the number of hotel bookings in warm weather cities rose 7% this January when compared to last year. Mugo Digwe, Fox 28 News.